The gate at Limpuyang Temple is one of the most iconic photos in Bali, but we learned that it's not as easy to get as we thought. Here's our experience figuring out the best way to get the Bali gate photo. I could not believe the amount of cars that are in the parking lot. I'm telling you, we are in the middle of nowhere, like hours and hours from the nearest other thing. So clearly everyone is as eager to get the photo as we are. Wow, it's crazy. Hello, oh my goodness, these things. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. So I've given you a number, which is basically the queue number for taking the iconic photo with the gate. He said that it's something like a two to three hour wait. Like how can there even be that many people here? But they'll call your number. So we'll see if we make it along, long enough to even do that. This is it. They have a speaker to call your number. Right, so there are a couple hundred people here. They're currently calling number 220. We are 345. So we've timed about 20 people going through to try and get an estimate, and it's looking like it's about a, a minute and a half average. So we did 345 minus 220 means there's 125 numbers ahead of us. And some of those are two people, like ours. It's not one number. Or it's not two separate numbers, it's one number for two people. I actually but saw one not group. Not even accounting for that. I saw one group that was five people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's 125 people ahead of us. At 1.5 minutes is 187 minutes. Divided by 60 is over three hours, you guys. So I just saw someone leave and they're like, oh, I waited over two hours for that photo. So these people are literally sitting here for hours to get this photo. That's not worth We're it. We're not about that. So uh, we're gonna take some other photos around here to show you what's nearby. And then instead of showing you how to get the photo, which we've already done, we're now gonna show you how to fake the photo because it is not worth sitting here for over three hours. We're gonna go get some lunch. Step one is between people actually shooting up there, I'm gonna get some shots with nobody in it as the background. <laughs> All right, get it, Holly, get it. So here's the gate up here. We've come down to kind of the actual entrance that no one uses because they're always shooting with that part. And we're gonna take a photo just kind of standing over here, getting that similar background behind us. So it's a pretty clean cut as far as photoshopping it. And then we're gonna post it right on top of that part right there. No one will ever know. The most important thing for this kind of trick is you have to make sure that you're using the same lens on your phone that you use to take the other camera and that your phone is about the same height and distance away from your subject. And the lighting. And the lighting. You want the lighting to be from coming from the same direction. So we're shooting the same direction with the exact same background. So it should blend really nice into the background of the photo that I just took up here. So we've left the temple. Luke has already started the editing, of course, to see if he can composite the photos. We will insert the final product pretty soon, but looking promising. The master at work. <laughs> 